and friends the hour of our country's salvation is now at hand the Antiguan Barbuda Labour Party and Team Labour are ready to redeem our country from the mismanagement of the UPP it is time to stop the pain it is time to vote Labour again Comrades, they stole the last election by lying to the people of this country. They made many promises, all of which they have broken. But the people will not be fooled again. What do you say about that? The UPP promised no personal income tax, but they wasted no time to inflict it on the people. Baldwin Spencer himself promised no government sales tax. But within six months, they imposed it on the people of this country. Overnight, our country went from the lowest tax jurisdiction in the Eastern Caribbean to the highest in the said eastern caribbean the cost of living has gone through the roof what you say about that how is the cost of living treating you old people single mothers and many young people trying to start a life cannot afford to make ends meet people are burdened down with UPP taxes, the entire country knows this to be true. Isn't the cost of living higher now than in March 2004? Let me hear you. Isn't unemployment higher now than in March 2004? Isn't violent crime greater now than in March 2004? The UPP used and abused the people they lied to the people and betrayed their trust and on what comrades has the UPP spent all the money they raised from over one billion dollars in taxes over the last four and a half years what have they got to show for it nothing but what you see right behind me here that big monstrosity you see behind me. Nothing but a car park. Nobody but them wanted. In four and a half years, what they give you is a car park that not even finished. No new schools. No new airport. No proper roads. You see what happened when Omar come. All the road and them get washed away. It's true. No efficient drainage system. No proper hospital. Although I will build one for them. What do you say? Yes, they built a very expensive road to the new cricket stadium. So an expensive car park. And even more expensive lick a piece of road that is all they have given you and what happened now they are now hustling to finish the mount st john hospital having neglected it for almost four years don't you think it is a travesty as far as i am concerned baldwin talking about lock up i want to tell him he should be locked up for allowing that hospital to stand there for five years while the Halberton deteriorates. That is misfeasance in public office, Baldwin Spencer. How can you take 
the government asset like that and just leave it sitting down there and i want to say something what about you the people of antigua what happened to you have you lost your courage we're having a demonstration on the 11th of next month and i want to make sure you all turn out demonstrate to baldwin spencer that you're fed up you're fed up they say it was their time well let me tell you the time come to an end now what do you say the hospital should have been functioning with state-of-the-art equipment and proper medical care for our old and our sick instead the upp spent taxpayers money on contracts for their friends first class travel to ministers abroad round and round the world they certainly didn't spend the money to help crime 19 murders last year comrades and another 14 this year in full glare of the upp sunshine 48 reported rapes of our women folk this year alone 48 and those are only the ones we know about the upp was a bad term the upp was a bad term it does not deserve another one bad term and you're gonna guasso what do you say the upp did spend money on expensive contracts for policemen from canada and britain but they refused to give them the resources to do the job no wonder all but one has gone and gone in short time and they all said they all said they're gone that the upp ministers were incompetent one man said in all of his 33 years he never worked with such an incompetent minister of a government they spent millions of dollars on witch hunting. Mm. They're so hell-bent on trying to send us to jail. They've paid fancy lawyers. And pricey investigation, millions of dollars. They know that they cannot win the elections on their dismal failure and miserable performance as a government. So the scheme is to pay foreign mercenaries to produce malicious reports that they can use to discredit team labor so what i say to you the people of antigua and barbuda are no longer fooled by the upp antics the people judge them and what they have delivered in four years and eight months and the report and the report is failure after failure lie after life on reducing unemployment failure on reducing violent crime failure and bringing new investment failure and not imposing personal income tax lie and not imposing government sales tax lie and not discriminating against people lie and so i say to you comrades tonight we are opening our office and from this office we will go forward from strength to strength you understand we want you to come to the office we want you to feel the energies of the labor party we will abolish personal income tax we will reduce the upp government sales tax we'll put money back into people's pocket we will reduce the cost of living but we can't do that without you you the people we the people this is our country let us make sure that the upp does not continue